Okay. So, article again. Uh, article 246. Kita mo umpisa. Title 8, Crimes Against Persons. Okay. So, una-una sa Crimes Against Persons, Article 246, Pariside. When we say pariside, guys, for extra points, anyone? Uh, ano ang ma... Ano ang crime na pariside? Ay, mo, Diyos, na kami should know. Hello? Ma'am? Killing a person. Killing, uh, ano ma'am? Between parents and child, ma'am. Oh, parent and child. Okay. Okay, yes, Jessa. Correct. Between parent and child. But hindi lang man parent and child. Okay? Pwede man nga yeah, ascendant mo or descendant. Or imo nga asawa. So if you kill your wife, if you kill your husband, that is parricide. If you kill your lola, lolo, that is parricide. Okay? If you kill your apo, wala pa man ka mo apo, that is parricide. Because legitimate or illegitimate nga, um, nga mother or child or legitimate mo nga ascendant or descendant. If you kill your brother, ano na siya crime? Okay, mas gwa po kung may mo brother. Brother side, you know. Ano, ano? What crime kung ginpatay mo yung brother? Sirit. And again, guys, the crime of parricide is a mother, a father or mother or child. Patsun mo yung mama, papa, or child, or bata mo. Or di man yung mga ascendant, when we say ascendant, sa babaw. Like lola mo, great grand lola mo. Or descendant, when we say descendant, padalom. Okay? Mga apu mo or great grandchildren mo. Pero ang sakilid mo, brothers mo, kag sisters mo, they are not, they are neither your ascendants nor descendants. Okay? Kag ang imo nga spouse. Okay? Kung pati yun mo yung imo nga spouse, that is parisay. So, um, it must be based on legitimate relationship. So, based lamang sa uh, legitimate na relationship, except sa uh, mother or father, kag, child. Kung, mag, uh, kung, uh, kung parent and child, bis kan illegitimate, bis kan nga anak sa labas, kagpat yun mo, uh, that is still parricide. Pero kung mga grandfather or grands, uh, grandson, uh, dapat must be legitimate relationship. Dapat hindi uh, anak sa labas. Dapat anak within the marriage. Okay? Uh, minang nga makount na siya as parisite. Kaya kung anak sa labas, that is no longer uh, parisite. That can be homicide or murder depending on the circumstances. Okay? So, if a father killed an illegitimate crime, what is committed? Ang tatay, yung patay niya yung illegitimate nga bata. Anak niya sa labas. Anak niya sa kerida, for example. The crime of... Anyone? Ang parasite, yes, parasite, okay, parasite, yes, Joe, that is, uh, the crime of parasite is committed. Although the crime is based in legitimate relationship, exception ang parent and child. Okay, if a brother killed his brother, what crime is committed? It could be murder or homicide. Okay? Uh, if a father, uh, if a stepfather, anong stepfather? Sige, gayon mo. 
Ubra ko, Jay, hindi ko ba mag-translate sa stepfather? Kung babae, bala nga ste- uh, stepmother, bala di ba madrasta, ano na tawag nila? Namot lang kung anong stepfather. Ah. Basta ang gina... Ang asawa na subong sa nanay mo, pero lain siya sa biological father mo. Di ba, ano ang stepfather? Okay, if a stepfather uh, kills his stepson, he will not be liable for parricide. It can be either murder or homicide depending on the circumstances because the relationship is not based on blood. Dapat ka dugo mo siya before siya magparicide. Kadugo mo siya or wife mo siya. Okay? Yung wife mo, hindi mo makadugo. Diba? Okay, again, the relationship must be legitimate and on direct line by blood. In parricide, the circumstances which qualify as a relationship, therefore, relationship between the offender and the offended party must be stated in the information. So, mag-charge kita sa crime, dapat i-put gid nga ay asawa ni niya ang iyagin patay o kung uh, bata niya ang iyagin patay, etc. Et so, this is, may napatay din guys ha. Kumun na nga makumit ang amuning nga crime. Someone must die. So, kung kulang ang information, wala na alad siyang relationship, the crime of parricide is not committed. Even though, in fact, mag-asawa, ganoon sila tuod, pero wala mo siya gin alad siya complaint. Okay? Another one, uh, ang uh, next crime, I mean, is 247, death or physical injuries inflicted under exceptional circumstances. Exciting niya siya. Okay. Uh, may ari uh, uh, may ari sang tatlo ka elements a uh, one, ang legally married person like for example may asawa ka na tapos uh, makit, uh, legally married person or parent surprises his spouse uh, like for example may mag- may Uh, mag-asawa, si A kag si B. Tapos si A, nadakpan niya nga may may kasex nga iban, si B. Okay? Husband and wife na lang a bit. Si husband kag si wife. Or si, so so si husband na sir, ginkantoan niya, nagpuli siya. Wala ka balo si wife nga mapuli siya. Tapos um, nakita ni husband si wife kag ang ilang driver for instance nga nagasex. So anong matabo? Um, ginpatay ni husband ang iyang asawa kag ang iyang ang ilang driver. So uh, will the husband be liable? Ay, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Sino, sino, sino? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Sino po, ma'am? Sino po, Kagina? Nag-no? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. It's a problem. Sheila. Correct. Kaya po, sa mga sumarod. Perlin. Okay. Um, yes. Guys, if you remember, remember sa criminal law one, yung in-discuss man guro ang um, absolutory cause. If you remember, absolutory cause. If you find your husband, like for example, ikaw, ako, wife, ako, kita ko, big ng lalaki, ang ako, uh, ng babae, ako, ng husband, tapos dito pa sila nag-sex sa sulod, so balay na mo, nakita ko siya. Tigin patay ko ako, ng husband, right there and then, tigin patay ko siya. I will not be liable for any crime because uh, uh, I am, uh, this is a, a death under exceptional circumstances. So pwede guys, If you can prove lang man nga bis kan hindi mo pagaligin patay or inflict lang sa physical injuries you will be exempted kay uh, nakabutang sa lay that this is a death under exceptional circumstances Wala go to do to sorry may lag man guru internet 
Well, anyway, amo na siya, guys. Basta nga kung ma- amo na siya. Kag, like for example, kamo mga children, kamo ba si anyone sa inyo under 18 years old pa? Okay? Kung madakpan ka mo ni tatay nyo or ni nanay nyo nga naga-sexual intercourse with another person, di ba guys, start pa ka mo sa nanay kag tatay nyo? Kag patyon ka mo ni nanay nyo kag tatay nyo, they will not be liable for any crime because that is death under exceptional circumstances. Okay? So, halong-halong kita. <laughs> okay? Um... Uh, dapat wala man kamo ginabugaw ni nanay kag ni tatay nyo kay di ba balik awat man gid na yan nyo kami tapos patso nyo kami kag mag-claim lang kamo sa exception nga under uh, exceptional circumstances siya di ba do hindi man siya uh, maayo so duwa di guys ha duwa nga klase sang death under uh, exceptional circumstances uh, um, you are killed by your spouse because or the, the I mean the spouse committed a crime or killed or harmed someone because uh, na, na, na catch sila or na caught sila under uh, the act of uh, the sexual act. Kumbaga, kag ang um, bata nila na under 18 years old na nakpa nila nga nakikipag sexual intercourse with another person. Okay. But the former, ang mga ang mag-asawa, ang muna sila ang dumetso more cases, di ba? Kesa sa children. Okay. So, dapat na-surprise ang person. Mm -mm, na-surprise siya. Tapos, ang pagpatay niya, wala sang, wala na siya bala na panumdum sang dugay. ba Wala siya nakatagan sang dugay nga panahon para maka uh, ano ganyan, ito waga? Makaplano kung ano yung obrahon. Doon nag, ano lang, nag, nag init iya nga ulo, nag ano yung dugo, muna nakakumit siya sang crime. So, kung, syempre, kung madakpan, magin man ang imo, uh, other half, di ba, nga nag-comment sa crime against you, di mo, wala ka na sa, sa chakto or sa gusto nga paminsaron, you can commit a crime with man. Sa kaugot mo, sa passion mo, um, pag sa na feel mo nga kaugot, di ba, makakomit ka ginan sa crime. So, the law recognizes that and gives you exception. You're exempted. So there are cases sa inyong uh, ha, uh, module nga ano ba lang ginatawag na immediately thereafter. Yung patay nila ang, na iya, ang, iya nga, ang iyang asawa immediately thereafter nga na, nga na dakpa niya. So dapat wala pa sang time to think. So, dire-diretsyo, continuous. What if ginlagas niya ang kirido, nakagwa ang kirido sa balay, tapos ginlagas niya for one hour? Is that immediately thereafter? Basta continuous ang pursuit, basta continuous ang paglagas, that is uh, still, that still falls under immediately thereafter. Okay? Kag-exempted man siya gyapon. Kaya ra, pa yung muna, nugot-ugot siya yung muna, tapos nugot-ugot kapag gabi, kagin palagyuhan kapag it. So that is, uh, you are, I mean, exempted under the law. Okay, Article 248, murder. Someone, one of you messaged me kung anong difference between murder and homicide. So because you have your module 6 man with you, I assume you, you read it already. So anyone, anyone who can tell me kung anong difference sang murder kag homicide. Murder, homicide. Confusing ba? Quiet, okay. Never mind. <laughs> yes, Merk? Yes? Ang um, about sa murder, ma'am, accuse lang, literal nga kill, ma'am, accuse kill him. Then sa homicide na, ma'am, do 
unjustified ano ma so hindi pa ma-determine kung paano din patay nun. Okay. Uh-huh. Sa murder, do gin... Sa murder, may participants ko qualifying circumstances. Yes, I'm sorry. Qualifying circumstances of homicide. Sa homicide na, hindi ang person na patay, ang ang tarang, ang intention is presume. Okay. Sa murder... Okay. Yes, and uh, Mer Mer Yes, ma'am. Merkel. Ah, uh, kasono. Okay. Sa namam mungot ng pagpatay. Yes, January. Correct. Okay. Ang ginambal ni January there is evident premeditation. Ginplanuhan o kung ginpanumduman kung kung ginhod nga patyon. So ginpanumduman mo git agus ah, kung niya patyon nga tawo ani. Okay. Um. Uh, here are, uh, here's the difference, okay? Murder, guys, qualified siya. Di, may gina, di ba may ginahambal kitang aggravating circumstances sa criminal law one ninyo? Okay? So, the, uh, here, mm -mm. Uh, sa homicide, may patay. Sa murder, may patay, okay? Uh, so, common element na nila, the person was killed. Tapos, ang accused, ang muna siya ang nagpatay sa iya. So, he will be convicted if in, if in case proven. Um, but the killing in murder is attended by qualifying circumstances. So, dapat may qualifying circumstances. What are these circumstances? Ano ni sila? Kag, ang killing is not parricide. So, dapat ang ginpatay niya is hindi niya, uh, ano ito sa parricide? hindi niya uh, ascendant or descendant or spouse, okay? Or hindi man siya infanticide. We will discuss infanticide later on. Kung infanticide siya, uh, kung infant ang iyagin patay, then the crime committed is infanticide. Kung parinti niya, ascendant niya or ascendant or spouse ang ipatay niya, the crime committed is parricide, not murder, okay? So murder, what are the quali qualifying circumstances for murder? First, treachery. Treachery. Trina idor ba lagay sa patalikod? Diba? The, the means that you employ is to weaken the defense. Ikwaan mo siya sa opportunity to defend himself. Okay? So, Gaburot ang mic. Well, anyway, I will upload a video lecture, guys, if you want a clearer, mas, mas clear kung sa, ano, no, sa video lecture. But anyway, I will, I, I, I really need to have a discussion with you. But anyway, treachery is one of the qualifying circumstances. Um, uh, dapat may arang sa uh, means to weaken the defense or uh, isa lang siya, tapos damo sang uh, persons, di ba? Uh, with the aid of, uh, may mga pusil sila, or with the aid of armed men. So that is uh, treachery, di ba? Superior strength, damo sila, or dako, dako siya, di ba? So, uh, amo na mga attending circumstances sa treachery. Also, uh, in consideration of price, reward, or promise. Basi hitman, kagid man niya, tapos kinabayran ka to pay. So your uh, crime again commit as a hitman is uh, murder. And the person that paid you is liable as a kasi ano, principal by inducement. ba? Sa inyong criminal law one, principal by inducement. So, in consideration of price, reward, or promise. Like, for example, babae ka magpagwapa, hamon yun, ihatag ko ang akong lawas sa imo, basta pat yun mo lang ang bana ko, or something like that. Diba? So, that is consideration of a, anong body, isang girl reward? <laughs> promise? Okay. Yes. Maybe. Well, anyway, by means of inundation, fire, poison, Explosion, shipwreck. Uh, gin strand mo ang gin stranded, di ba? I strand mo ang vessel or ang uh, airship or by means of motor vehicles. 
or other uh, other means nga naga involve sa great waste or ruin. So mga ginobra sa mga terrorist, mga bombing, that is by means of uh the means I mean nga naga involve sa great waste ka ruin. So ay damo ma ma damo ma umi damo ma ano ganyan ang tawag uh, Pero uh, terrorism is another uh, crime that is separately punishable under the special law sa anti-terrorism. Okay? Also, number four, on occasion of any calamities. So, may ara na sang epidemic, may ara na sang public calamity, may ara na sang eruption, earthquake, tapos dira ka pa yagin, gin, ano mo na siya, gin grab mo siya as an opportunity nga sako ang kanan para makapatay ka, okay? And also with evident premeditation. When we say evident premeditation, oh hi, sige lang guys. Evident premeditation, um, pag, uh, ano ganyan ito, ginpanong duman mo gin, you premeditated, okay? Kag ang pag premeditate mo, or ang pag panong dumo, how you will commit, commit the, the killing is uh, attendant with uh, other facts. Okay, so may mga evidence. And with cruelty, this is na dugang. With cruelty, like for example, gin, ano mo, gin padugay mo ang pagpatay sa person. Like for example, may ara ka malang kuchilyo, pero ginamat-amat mo siya, saksak sang ballpen. Or other, other ways nga do medyo ano nga inatawag ah ma cruel gid ba lang nga do ma feel mo gid gina padugay mo kumbaga ang suffering sa person or outraging or scoffing at his person or corpse or like for example patay na siya tapos gin rape mo pagid gin saksak mo pagid so that is ah uh, with cruelty or outrage or scoffing at his person or Gindugangan mo, kumbaga, ignominy. Gindugangan mo ang insulto. Okay? So you check or you review Article 14, Aggravating Circumstances, sa inyong Book 1. Okay, homicide. Homicide, easy na lang because wala na itong murder. Ang murder mo ang importante nyo, kahit hindi siya murder, I, and, kung hindi siya murder, hindi man siya parricide, hindi man siya infanticide, homicide siya. Tama na siya. So a person is killed, ginpatay siya without justifying circumstances, so hindi self-defense and other uh, justifying circumstances, and the accused had the intention to kill. Diba? Ginapresume nga kung, may pata kung magpatay ka, there is an intention to kill. But your killing was not uh, attended with the uh, qualifying circumstances sa murder. Like, hindi man siya, parricide or infanticide. Penalty for frustrated or attempted parricide, murder, or homicide. Okay, kung frustrated siya, one degree lower. Diba? Kung may penalty nga gina-prescribe, kama na siya? For, for instance, reclusion perpetua. Oh, kung, <clears throat> kung frustrated siya, reclusion, temporal lang. So, it's a degree lower. Uh, if it's attempted, then it's two degrees lower from the prescribed penalty. Okay? Uh, you know you know that naman sa criminal law niya. Okay? <clears throat> that caused in tumultuous afraid. Dala lang guys ha? Okay, so tutunan. Tumultuous affray. When we say tumultuous affray, ginagamo, rumble in our local dialect. Okay? Uh, rumble. Kung people fight in a tumultuous or confused manner. Kaya nakabalo kung sino ginasumbag mo, kung apin mo pabala or kontra mo. Uh, Amo na siya. And that, uh, may ara ka nga na inflikan sa injury or death. Okay? In this case, 251 death caused in a tumultuous affray. So, the mga tao, there are several persons. Um, hindi man organized groups. Kung mga gang war, 
hindi na mag-fall under itong hopeless sa prey. Kaya they are, ano gani ito, wag, ah, they are, uh, ano sila, mga kilala, di ba? Kilala mo members mo. Uh, <coughs> yes. Nakatabo ni usually sa mga party, mga bars, di ba? Nagarambol. And the several persons quarreled and uh, assaulted one another in a confused and tumultuous manner. Someone was killed in the course of the affray. Kag in the, it can't be ascertained who actually killed the disease. So the person or persons who inflicted serious physical injuries or who used violence can be identified. Dere, wala ka may mabalaan, wala may makilala kung sino ginman balaang nagpatay sa disease, but someone died. So so everyone that uh, participated sa tumultuous affray must be held responsible. So amunin siya ang remedy, uh, Article 251. Physical injuries inflicted in tumultuous affray. So kung wala man tuod, may napatay, pero may harap sa may, may nag-suffer sa physical injuries, for instance, or yung iban, bukod sa napatay, nag-suffer pag isang serious physical injuries, then this is the crime nga ipasaka sa ila. Okay? Article 252, physical injuries inflicted in tumultuous affray. The physical injuries must be must be less serious or serious physical injuries. Kaya kung, 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 ano nga, ano gani, ano tawag ka? Kaya kung hindi, kung slight physical injuries lang, hindi yan mo niya ang mga crime na i, na i-charge. Kundi, uh, slight physical, slight physical injuries kung ma-identify mo. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. Ari, if you identify, Ari, question. May area asang tumultuos a fray, may rambol. Several people were attacking and fighting each other. Suddenly, here comes a balut vendor who saw the fray and he was just there. Naglantaw lang yun siya, yeah, si magbabalot. Tapos, ang paglantaw niya dito, si X, nakita siya ni X. Tapos, gin... Palapitan siya ni X, kagin stabbed twice. Okay, the balut, but the balut vendor died. So what crime was committed here? Ano ang crime ang nakumit? <clears throat> Is it death in tumultuous affray? No, ma'am. Okay, yes and no. Why? Hindi man siya part ng motion, ma'am. Nag-ano lang siya. Okay. okay, so a bystander can be uh, a victim sa death of tumultuous, uh, uh, in a tumultuous affray actually. And pwede, mag, pwede siya maging victim. Pwede mga passers-by, pwede mga tagalantaw lang. But ang important element of the crime na death under tumultuous affray is the perpetrator of the crime must not be identified. So why kabalo kung sino ang nagpatay kay balut vendor. Okay? So in the case provided, kilala nga si X ang nagbuno sa iya. So si X lang nga i-charge with murder or homicide. Okay? But uh, it is, does not fall under death, uh, under tumultuous afraid. Okay, charge mo dara. Ang tanan niya involved okay. sa rambol. Okay? Okay. Article 253, giving assistance to suicide. Guys, sa, sa example, ako sa, preg sa pregnant, sa pregnant woman last time, nga suicide is not... Killing yourself is not a crime. Attempting to commit your uh, suicide is not a crime. But then again, if another person assists you in committing suicide, that becomes a crime na sa nag-assist sa inyo. Okay? So nag may nag-assist sa inyo to, to commit suicide by lending uh, uh, another person to commit suicide and by 
lending assistance to another to commit suicide to the extent of doing the killing himself. Ang bulo niya, patya ako, please, gusto ko na magpatay. Amo na. So, that's giving assistance to suicide. Okay, wala man sang intent to kill, di ba? Oh, so, example is, naghambal na siya nga gusto niya commit sang suicide, hinatagan mo pagin siya sang lubid na pang siya kagalingon. Kung hinatagan mo siya sang poison o kung uh, hilok sa uh, ano sa sa ilaga o di ba so good friend kagid man yun supportahan mo din siya kung ano yung gusto sa kabuhi well anyway that makes you liable for the crime nga giving assistance to suicide For, like for example, guys, ano, um, mercy killing or euthanasia. Like ang um, mga persons sa hospitals na do severely nga manugpatay na gidman. Tapos naga ano na lang gid sila ya sa machine. Machine na lang nagabuhi sa ila. Tapos gin turn off mo ni ang machine nga ni. Napatay ang bata. So, like for example, napatay ang tao nga, nga ara sa deathbed, nga malubha ng sakit. Okay? Is this uh, giving assistance to suicide? No. Yes. No, kayo hindi mo niya gusto niya sa tao nga mapatay. <laughs> ara, malang siya sa deathbed, di ba? So, that's, uh, that's not suicide. Discharge of firearms or illegal discharge of firearms. Okay. Uh, you will be police officers someday, so may mga baril ka mo, you should be careful, okay? Discharge of firearms. When, when you're... Uh, when you discharge a firearm, na pinabuang lang, amo na siya ang illegal discharge of firearms. Okay, you have no intention to kill anyone. Okay, so kung in point mo gid siya sa person, if you point it sa person, that is, kagin paputok mo na siya, that is, uh, kung maigo na siya, kag mapatay siya, that is either mur uh, murder or or homicide, or kung, kung na-anhan lang siya, kung na-injure lang siya, it's either serious physical injuries, etc., etc. Um, if you point it upwards, basi alarms and scandals lang na imo ha? Uh, ano ganun, crime may commit. But you dis if you discharge firearms at anywhere lang, without really aiming at a, uh, at a certain person, then that is illegal discharge of firearms. For example, sa park sila, Tapos, damo tawo. Nag, nag, ano, nagpalupok si X several times. So, what crime was committed? Ang ginkomit niya ng crimes is alarms and scandals. Okay? Nagakinagamo lang. So, yeah, gusto niya lang niya mag. Ang alarms and scandals, as we previously uh, discussed, is do medyo nag, ano lang siya, nag iskandalo kumbaga. There are examples man sa inyo nga, ano, sa inyo nga. Ano ganyan ta? Sa inyo module. Okay, infanticide. Infanticide. Infant. Killing of a child less than pilaka years old. Yes, okay. The killing of less than three days or 72 hours, ma'am. Okay, James. Question. 
72 yeah. hours or 3 days old. So, kung 3 days old na siya nga baby, infanticide ang imo crime again commit. So, who can be an offender sa infanticide? It can be parents, mother, or father. Grandparents. So, the age that it is the age that is controlling. Guys, uh, di ba parisaid, mother, father. Pero kung ang baby is three, three, less than 3 days old pa lang, the crime committed is infanticide, not parisaid. Okay? So, anyone can commit sa infanticide. Ang age ang i mas ga-control. Okay? So, hindi ka maging liable sa parisaid nung pat yun, nung bata mo nga, bago pa lang ni mo na na ano ba ito ga pag mo pa lang na pa nabunag kumbaga so uh, amo na siya okay mas uh, una mo i-check kung pilang edad sang bata kung amo ning edad sang bata the crime that commit, that was committed kung less than 3 days old siya the crime that was committed is infanticide hmm. or anyone any person any person nga biskan hindi mother father grand parents or an, any person any person that kills a per, uh, baby that is less than 7 uh, i mean less than 3 days old is guilty of infanticide okay but there are actually guys ano uh May area sang ano ganin niya. May mitigating circumstances actually dire. Kung ang mother, for example, ang mother wala siya, ang mother wala siya sang bana. Mm -mm. Tapos um nagbuso siya. Ah uh, do wala kahay wala siya bana. Um, feeling sang ano dishonor na siya, di ba? So kung nga she kills her own child less than 3 days old, um ginamitigate ang iya nga liability by 2 degrees. So ano man no, actually reclusion perpetua kay wala man death penalty. So bong uh, that is something uh, I want to clear man gali na wala death penalty, wala pa siya ginabalik. So the highest uh the highest penalty that the law uh, imposes is reclusion perpetua as of, as of date. So, amo na siya. But if you if you kill a baby kung mother ka and your purpose is to conceal ang dishonor sa imo para hindi ka mahuyan, para hindi mahuyan ang family, um, your penalty is lowered by 2 degrees. I I don't ano, I don't ano ni pala guys, wala na. Wala ko nag agree to this uh, law that, that your penalty should be lowered by 2 degrees. But hindi pa man ako legislator. Di ba? Okay. Kaya mother must be the first to protect their children. Even though, uh, I mean, that's... Uh, well, I, I, I do not mean to offend anybody. But that is... Uh, ano gani ito? Ano na siya? Um effect na siya sa imo choices. So dapat panindugan mo na siya, di ba? So if you kill the child, the innocent child to conceal your dishonor, you're being selfish as a mother. But then again, the law pardons you because probably the uh, the law understands na it is heavy man for a mother, then uh, the law lowers your penalty by 2 degrees. Kung reclusion perpetua, manaog siya sa ang buwa ka, step lower. Okay? Also, uh, grand grandparents, maternal grandparents, kung patyo nila ila apo, uh, the law uh, favors them and uh, reduces their penalty by one degree. Okay? One degree kung grandparent, two degrees kung parent. Kung mother, I mean. Uh, 
Okay. Tapos, let's move on to 256, 257, 258, and 259. Uh, all about abortion, intentional abortion, unintentional abortion, or abortion practiced by woman herself or by her parents, and abortion practiced by physician or midwife and dispensing of abortives. Ang four articles nga ni, dua ka types ng abortion, okay? May intentional, hungod, intention mo gidiya nga ihulugon ng bata, kag uh, unintentional, wala mo ginahod na mahulog ang bata, okay? Abortion is uh, maybe practiced sa woman, sa iya nga kagalingon, or by a physician or a midwife nga mag-induce ng abortion, okay? Abortion is willful killing. So, dapat hungod mo nga willful. Uh, gusto mo gid siya nga mapatay ang fetus. Okay? Sa womb. Or by violent expulsion of a fetus from a material womb which results to death of the fetus. So, abortion is committed in three ways. Tatlo ka pa maagi. First is by using violence. Sumagun mo i-tiklod mo para matumba siya. That's violence against the pre uh, upon, I mean, the person who is pregnant. Okay? So, nag-result siya sa abortion. So, intentional ab abortion. Um, kung wala sang violence, it can be by administrating pampahulog ng mga drugs or beverages without the consent of a pregnant woman. Okay? Dapat without the consent of the pre pregnant woman or by acting without violence with the consent of the pregnant woman by administering the aborting drugs or beverages to a pregnant woman this time with her consent so three ways okay violence with violence uh, without violence nga pag administer some drugs uh, without consent kag uh, pag administer mag, pag administer some drugs with consent okay three Ah, ari. So, kung may duwabi, for example, ka college students, mga estudyante pa lang sila, boyfriend, girlfriend sila, tapos si girlfriend naging pregnant siya. Tapos ang bal ni, ni boyfriend, hindi pa ko ready, bata pa kita, hindi ta pwede pa, hindi, hindi ta pa ka pwede pa kasalan. Tapos, uh, naman ko si girlfriend, di pa, ano na lang kuya, pa na akong sitwasyon, gabuso na ako. Tapos, they both decide to conceal the dishonor sa female student. So, they, they decided na ipa-abort ang fetus. Okay? So, the, uh, what the boyfriend did was he went sa, nangita siya sa pampalaglag, nagato siya sa kiyapo, nagbakal siya to sa mga gamot-gamot na balang ginalaga, kaginapainom para mag magagawa uh, ang fetus, pampalaglag. Uh, the female student drank the abortive, uh, the boarding beverages na fetus died. So what crimes were com are committed? Intentional abortion. Intentional abortion. Okay, Rodeline, Jessa. Intentional abortion now. Yes. Intentional abortion under 256. Amo na ang uh, in-commit niya nga crime. Tag abortion right practiced by a woman herself or by her parents na Article 258. So both of them are liable for intentional abortion. Like for example, ano... Malakas gid ang kapit sa bata. So this kan ginlaglag ni gin try nila ilaglag. Ano gyapon? Uh, why na gyapon na ano? So is there a crime of frustrated inter intentional abortion? Yes, there is. There is a crime na frustrated in intentional abortion. Pero wala sang crime nga frustrated unintentional abortion, okay? Because in an intentional abortion, the intention against the woman and abortion only happens unintentionally. So, ang pag-abort is unintentional. So, for example, si lalaki, 
gin ano niya gin sakit niya si babae who happens to be his enemy um babaan ni si girl tapos why siya kabalo nga nga ano nga ano magabusong gali si girl di ba so na, na na for example uh, na hurt ang mother but ang fetus why why dia why dia napatay uh, there is no crime nga frustrated and intentional abortion So, ang ikaso lang siya is serious physical injuries or physical injuries or what na, ba? Diba? Pero for example, nahulog ang bata. The crime committed is an intentional abortion. Duel. Duel. Seldom na ni guys nagkakatabo ang duel. 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 Okay? Duel. Um, combat with deadly weapons. Concerted between two or more persons who have decided or agreed to fight. So sa sinauna yun ang baril na bilang nga pinapalayo sila, walk away sila duwa, tapos matubangay sila tapos magbarilay. So that is jewel na sa mga movies, sa mga old movies mo na makita, di ba lang? Or di man, mag-ispadahay. That's jewel. But, uh, subong do. Do, ay naman. So jewel is a combat with deadly weapons concerted between two or more persons who have decided or agreed to fight. Sumbaganay. Akatay para man sumbaganay mo na. Hindi, hindi man guys. Okay? Because you should have weapons. Okay? Uh, there are three acts Spanish na jewel. So, ginpatay mo ang imong uh, contract. And you, or you inflict physical, inju, uh, physical injury sa mga kontra or making the combat or merely in, entering. Wala man may napatay, wala man may nasugatan. Pero the mere fact of entering into jewel or pag-agree ninyo to fight with each other with uh, weapons. Okay. Uh, also, challenging to the jewel. Kung ikaw ang nagpanghangkat, kumbaga, or you incited another to uh, accept the challenge of uh, the challenge na mag-jewel, uh, then uh, you are liable for uh, under 261, challenging to jewel. Next, crimes of physical injuries. Mutilation. Mutilation, pagutod sa part of the body. Okay, 510 na gali. Okay, next time na lang kita mag-discuss ang crimes of physical injuries. Okay, gamay naman lang ni siya. But, uh, as tahon tagid sa rape ni. So, for now, amo lang to guys ang discussion nato to, nanay. Uh, any question, my man? May pamangkot. Okay. Sige, dali lang gid ha. On your cameras, ano, ma screen cap lang ako for for para sa ano, ganito. 